Oh, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a new feature added to the Avid Assistant, and that is the notebook item. So when we start up, you can close this down, this. You can see that we have a brand new item here. This uh, little window that says uh, add or claim a note. This is the notebook item. Let's expand that out a bit. It allows you to basically type in random notes. Initially, you cannot type anything into it. It says page zero, zero. That means there's no actual no underlying data structure to store the data. That's because when you log in, you can connect to a game. Um, you have to basically uh, create, like a, you create a ship, or you can claim a ship, you can claim a notebook. So we'll show you how to first create a notebook. So we just click the wrench icon and it says no new notebook, choose the existing notebook, modify notebook. Now if we choose the existing notebook, there's nothing there to claim. So we have to create a new one. So let's put my uh create a new notebook. And here we have page one oh one. And this is just literally you can type any text you want into here. I usually use it in squadrons right to write down fire orders. Just like so. These are x2, 5 plus, 4 slash 5. Breaking 3. And the data is automatically saved to the remote database. Well, it would be if we actually started a game. So let's start a quick game up. Uh, let's do, say, uh, demo three. Get a new game ID. And select lead. Okay. So now we have a new game set up and everything is saved to the remote database. Click that just to make sure. And so that's basically all there is or creating a notebook, I should say. Now let's say you want to add an additional page. Wrench icon, modify notebook. Um, you can add a new page before the current or after the current. So before the current, so this is now page one. Let's go to back to page two. Go after current, page three. And we go back and forth. It also wraps around, so you can just keep cycling through. And if you want, you can delete a page. It'll ask you. Okay. And then let's see, we want to run page two of two, it says page three, let's add one back for the current, go page two. You could also move pages around. Like you go to page three here, you want to move it forward or backwards is go with page earlier. So now it's two, now it's page one. Let's go back to here. So three, two, one, three, two, one, one, two, three. And so that's no moving pages, adding new pages, deleting pages. Choose an existing notebook. So as you can see, our notebook's now listed. Claim it is now ours. Again, now one thing about web technologies is as you're trying to you know, drag, you know, drag stuff around to highlight with the mouse cursor, sometimes you start dragging the actual item itself. To help pre prevent that, we have the lock button. This theoretically locks this in place. It's not 100% because web technologies suck, but it's a lot easier to drag back and forth. Uh, we'll be working to make this more robust because you can still drag around a little bit, but it's about 90% effective. And the last thing to demonstrate is, is you know, why you would want to claim an existing notebook. So we'll do a quick pause and relaunch this in an incognito window. 
Okay, and we're back. We have relaunched the game into a uh, incognito window. So it was Squadron Strike, Player Mode, Join. Let's see. Oh God, what was it? Demo three, I believe. Yep, demo three. Okay, and we load in the game. Give it a sec to sync. We'll go to lead mode. Then we can close this out. You notice that our um, notebook window over here is not displaying a notebook, even though we're already part of this game. That's because we're on an incognito window and the software does not know what your user ID is. Because we don't have accounts for the, for the whole uh, ASCII site or for the virtual map in particular, we don't know who you are at all. Uh, we start up a web browser on a particular machine. It creates a user ID for that particular web browser and machine. It's stored locally. So if you like clear your cache or get rid of everything, you wipe out your user ID, it, we won't know who you are anymore. Similarly, if you change web browsers, go to like incognito mode, which doesn't store that information, we don't know who you are if you, you know leave the game and come back later. Which is why we have on the list page, we have the whole ability to claim ships. So to claim a notebook, just go icon, choose this existing notebook, and select, click claim, and there you go. You have your notebook back. So that's all there is. Have any questions? Uh, just uh, leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. All the likes, comments, and thumbs up really help you with the YouTube algorithm to get this content out to as wide of an audience as possible. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.